Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to build a 999 out of parts. And uh, what you're looking at, of course, is a single reduction motor. This is out of a Marx 400, actually a 490 body. But this motor was actually out of a 400. Now, I buy these on eBay just to get the motors out of them for doing projects just like we're going to do. Now, this motor will not fit a 999 because of the way the uh, front crossbar mounts. As you see, it's much too low. You can stick it in there, but uh, it just doesn't work. The uh, uh, body is in a really strange relationship to the wheels. So you have to have a front crossbar for a 999. So I went through my parts and I found a crossbar that only had one of the forks mounted on it. Now, as you know, the 999 uses a slide assembly. Now, what most people don't know is that if you pop this fork off of the 999 uh, front crossbar, it's already slotted for standard push rods. So you can see the holes where the uh, fork was mounted, and you just pop these off, and there's a slot that will fit a standard push rod. Now, to put this motor in the 999, you have to install this crossbar, and you have to shorten the push rods about a 32nd of an inch. And so I've just clipped these off, literally clipped them off. Haven't uh, even filed them yet. I just want to do a, a quick video on how to do this. So you shorten them about a 32nd of an inch, and then you can slide on a 999 crossbar and it has slots for the push rods and snaps directly onto the motor, as you see. So this one won't, won't use uh, the slides. It'll use standard push rods, as you see. So then all you have to do is install this on the motor, lightly twist these tabs to lock it in position, install a headlight, this is a single reduction motor with a working E-unit. You can then slide it into a 999 and install the screws. So this was never intended to be in this engine, but as you see, it fits, it works, it works absolutely perfectly. So let me get these screws in here. And you can see how quickly I did this. It only takes a minute if you have the parts to do it with. And this was just parts out of the parts box, except for this motor, of course. So tighten the screws, and there you have a working 999 with a standard single reduction motor. So let me take the uh, camera off the tripod, move this all out of the way. Oh, got to put my lens back in. All right, turn on the power and let's see how this runs. Runs forward and it runs backwards. All right, let's put it on a consist and see how this is going to run. So a brand new motor in a Marx 999, as you see, not using the slide assembly. So there you go, a 999 made out of parts in about five minutes. And that's running perfectly. So a really simple upgrade from a plastic 400 to a die cast 999 that runs absolutely perfectly and looks nice. And it costs you absolutely nothing made out of parts literally made out of parts so i just wanted to do a quick video on this it's really simple it's really straightforward and the nice thing to know of course is that these front crossbars for the 999 even though they have the slide assembly on them if you pull off that uh, fork assembly just pop this off it already has slots for a standard uh, push rod you just have to shorten these about like i said a 32nd of an inch they're a bit too long and they hit the end of the crossbar this is just hollow. 
And so you just, just snip off about a 30 second of an inch and I just use a pair of clippers and just clip them off. And uh, it doesn't take very much, just basically cut off that rounded end and uh, they fit absolutely perfectly. It's a really, really simple way to build a 999 out of just stuff in your parts box. So uh, a new motor in the 999 and it's up and running forward and reverse and it cost me nothing. So that's running really well. That's 50% power. And as you see, it's running absolutely perfectly. So a 999 without the slide assembly, and yet it's running. It's actually running really well. So I just wanted to do a quick video on a really simple way to do this. Get this all cleaned up and you have a really, really nice 999 uh, made out of parts. So it didn't cost you anything at all. Plus you have the fun of actually building these things and you saw how quickly I did this. And if you have a box of parts, you can fix almost anything you can find uh, in the way of a, a Mark's locomotive. It's just a matter of uh, pulling one part off, adding one. You can uh, swap motors. You can do lots of modifications that only take a few minutes uh, to uh, be able to run what you have. So a really, really simple way to uh, build a Marks 999 just from parts in the parks box. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com And as always, thank you for watching.